Look what I have created! Look what I have created. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys notice that slide? Wiley Rooster Boys. For any of you that listen to the show, the podcast, uh, Wiley Rooster Boys, on all your major platforms, uh, you'll know that we've been talking about for months that we were challenged to a wilderness survival challenge. It was going to be 24 hours. But uh, as of like, I don't know, 18 hours ago, 24 hours, something like that, it changed. We were going to come out Saturday at 9 a.m. and run until Sunday 9 a.m. That changed. It's like five, yeah, five twenty on uh, Friday, and we're gonna be out here from now until nine a.m. Sunday morning. Now, I, I can't stress this enough: the winner of this challenge, it's gonna be between Texas and Nebraska. Uh, Frankie from One Fish at a Time, he challenged us to this. So, how we're gonna do this is, you guys, you guys are the judge. We need you guys to watch all the videos, mine, Roosters. Frankie's and leave in the comments who won because we're not doing a point system we had spoken we had spoke about it before but we're not gonna do a point system we're just gonna let you guys decide who won and I guess the most important thing is we go out here and we have fun because being in the outdoors being in God's creation that's what it's all about um, so I'm gonna quit jibber jabbering we're gonna get out here and we're gonna start setting up our camp because we are losing daylight so. Our home away from home for the next, I don't know, four, I think I figured it It's like 40 hours. I think I figured it up. Yeah, buddy. Very roomy. Yes, sir. That limb's got to go. It does. You're gone. Do you guys see this? We did not bring a gun for hunting. We brought one for self-defense. But I don't think this little guy's gonna do anything. Y'all may not be able to see him yet, but you're about to. There he goes. Hey, that's a good sign though, you know? It is a good sign. Okay. Let's get to it. Before we get too caught up in anything, I gotta brag on something. If you guys listen to the show, then you know who Mike Slauson is. Mike Slauson, the man, the myth, the legend. He makes knives. Look at that. Look at that beauty. He made this for me. This thing. Oh, it's gorgeous. Cannot wait to put it to the test tonight. So. I think first thing, because I'm thinking about setting up my hammock between these two trees. This has got to go. So let's get to that. That might have hurt if it fell when I was asleep. Huh. Oh, Frankie, you better get used to what victory looks like. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Good. I'm gonna set this down. That'll work. Boy, we got wood though for a, for a crash, man. Yeah, we do. 
move these rocks because if I fall during the night in my hammock, I don't need anything else more hard than the ground hitting me. It's crazy how how quick they are, you know. Perfect. Ah. Mm hmm Oh gosh. All right, I guess you guys are probably tired of watching that stuff by now, so let's get our fire pit going. What do you think? I think that'll work pretty good. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna gather some, let's gather some wood real quick. So we ain't gotta do that if it's dark when we get back. Yeah. And let's run down there and get some food. Y'all hang tight. It's, it's a distance up here. I'm hoping to catch a game trail and just follow it. We're gonna go and we gotta get our water situated for the night. Let's go that way. Hopefully food. Except for the part where I do not have this pole rigged up for, ah, for uh, something good. I, I don't know, I'm trying to concentrate on not falling down, guys, I'm sorry. All I know is this point is just straight north. What is, huh, okay, blind. looks like an old blind. Right, let me get my bearings about me, yeah. Hey, look at that game trail. Let's go up here. This pack make me look fat? <laughs> or is it just the fat that makes me look fat? <sighs> no judging here, man. I ain't got no room to talk. Is that the creek bed? Oof. I believe that, ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Hope y'all saw that. Look at that guy. <laughs> look at that creek bed. Oh. There's water. Oh, okay. I thought that looked familiar. I put your tackle box in my bag. Ooh, buddy. I don't know. I may try the wacky rig. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I think we can get water from the clear spots. 
just be easy with it. We'll worry about that in a minute. But let's see, guys. First cast. Let me tell y'all something about this real quick, though. This is the Lose American Hero 7-foot medium-heavy spinning combo. I got this on 9-11 when I was at Cabela's because, you know, it was 9-11, and this seemed fitting because, you know, if you guys know us at all, we certainly support our troops. Right. And it felt right. We support our troops, but Frankie, we're whooping that butt. That's true. Love you, brother, but I'm just saying, first three casts, we catch something, Texas is winning. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> All right. And in that cast. That didn't count. That was half a cast. Okay. Man, I love it when it's like glass. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a lot of vegetation. I don't know if that's a fish. I don't know. No, it wasn't. Oh, that is. Come on, come on. Let it ride, let it ride. Take it back, take it back. He's got it, he's got it. Come on, eat it, eat it. Give me that tug, give me that tug. Gotcha. Got him. Got We're eating tonight, boys. Just don't get off. Hey, you're making it easy on me, bud. Swimming towards me. I appreciate that. Look at that. Give me that. Well, you took my worm, but you were going to provide us with food. I truly appreciate that guy. That's a beautiful fish, you know. Appreciate it. I gotta get a little fish on me. Go for it. Oh yeah. Alright. Y'all don't watch this part. Alright guys. We have dinner. We should hang this guy. Right there. This guy right here. Membrane Solutions. For now, I'm just gonna get the bag itself out. But what it is, whoops, don't do that. Put water in it. Okay, pretty simple, right? Gonna take a few trips. Little bit of a tent. It ain't too bad. <laughs> it's gonna be 12 trips. <laughs> Two of these is one liter. That's a gallon. How many cup? There you go. Ooh, buddy. We got breakfast. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, this water is a lot clearer than I thought it would be. Look at him. You really wanna take that one? If you want, I don't care, it's up to you. I mean, I know it's food survival, but that's a baby. <laughs> it is a baby. <laughs> Completely your call. Little man, I'm gonna let you live. Alrighty. Whoop. Sorry guys. going which shouldn't be too bad i've learned a lot from the last time i did this and i'm a little bit more proficient with a fire ferro rod i would say at this point i grabbed a stick i didn't know if uh... oh i guess i should probably grab the fish huh hey get out of there You got it? Yep. 
All right. To the back. This is just, this is winning right here. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This, this is the picture of winning. Walking back with a fish. Water. Water. And we're about to get number three on the list, fire. Yep. Oh, well, I say that. Let's not get too antsy here. You gonna hit him? Hmm? Can you hit him with that pistol? I might. Folks, looky there. Y'all want some snake for dinner? Hey, buddy. Look at that beautiful copperhead. Let me get out of your way. Get out of your discharge. Just don't hit no rock. No, you missed them. You you missed by like an inch. No shit. Wasn't by much. You can probably get him again. He's just under that log. I should have brought the boomstick. Yeah, boomstick would be nice. I've if you want to keep an eye on him, I'll go to camp real quick. Get the boomstick. Don't matter. And keep an eye. On him. I'll be right back. We had our first run in with a, a critter. Copperhead, and uh, I don't want him crawling up in my hammock with me tonight, so he's gonna have to be eliminated. It's kind of stupid leaving camp without the boomstick. Beautiful copperhead. That's his tail. Oh, now I saw his head. All right, about to be loud. I think he's gone. Well, he's dead, but I ain't sticking my hand down there. Now here's the real question. You want to eat them? Not really. Me either. I would. I don't know if the venom got in the meat though. Yeah. Well, that. And... We did use. Meat. That is true. That would be. That yeah, would be cheating. Not the... All right. Man, he's so beautiful yeah, though. He's gorgeous. Beautiful. All right. He's far enough from camp, I think we can... I'm gonna go chunk him over here a ways. I don't wanna have any visitors during the night. All right, All right. So as we mentioned earlier, about Bigfoot bushcraft, this ferro rod is from Bigfoot Bushcraft. It's actually one of our sponsors and I can't say enough good things about them. Um, this ferro rod is absolutely amazing. Look how thick that sucker is. It puts off a shower, man. Um, they also have fire plugs that they sell, but being that those would have counted as an item for us, we didn't bring them. Um, so there's that. This grass isn't quite dead. There it goes. Yeah. There's your bag. Well, Rooster, there's number three. Number three. Uh, yeah, what I was saying is Fowler, if you guys don't watch Fowler, he was the guy that was on season three, correct? Season three, yes. Sir. Season three of Alone, and uh, he won. He went 87 days in Patagonia. Patagonia. Yeah. But anyway, what he always says is, uh, fire loves friends. You start off with your tender, 
then you put you know little bitty twigs whatever smaller twig or bigger twigs bigger twigs bigger twigs all the way up to branches and uh that's what i'm planning on doing here get this sucker established and start adding to it that's pretty clean dude does it really yeah if i had one complaint it would be that i wish we had a little bit of a breeze let that get established a little bit let me get that fish processed Oh, all right, Mike. Let me uh, showcase your handiwork here. Okay. okay. Here we go. Let's do some gutting. Oh, I get in the right spot. Mike, this knife cuts like butter. Want some guts? Look at that. Oh, God, this fish is fish heavy. Say what? All right. Now, we got fish on. We got coffee on. I'm thinking today is a success. Uh, we quit that. We probably won't be doing a whole lot more recording this evening. I'm sure we'll throw on some more, some more footage of tonight here intermittently. But I think for now, we're gonna kick back and relax, let our coffee get on the bull, eat some fish, and enjoy God's creation. So, uh, yeah. Hang on. Dinner is done. Oh. Yeah. Dinner's done. Made chopsticks. I got, well, what would you call it? Just eating utensils? Yeah, I'd say those. Just, you know, little pinchers, little deals like that. Well, we got some coffee. Thanks, sir. I'm gonna tell you what. Mike, again, this sucker, oh man. Just wanna do one side at a time? Yeah, that's fine with me. Man, that's some good coffee, Joe. I ain't tried it yet. Mine's still pretty warm. Well, it's hoping for a bigger piece than that, but. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Scoot this down so y'all ain't getting blinded. I don't even know what you can see right now. But uh, <clears throat> got the shelters up. We went fishing. Uh, we got our dinner. We got coffee on the bull. Well, I say on the bull. It's it's done. Um, killed a copperhead. Didn't want that sucker crawling in the in the hammocks with us. We made us a makeshift bench for now. Tomorrow we're gonna get a little bit better seating situation going on. But uh, we're going to sit here, we're going to eat the dinner, eat our dinner, and probably call it a night because it's kind of, it's too dark to really see anything. So, um, yeah. So for now, good night, guys. We'll see you all in the morning. Good morning. About, uh, what time is it? Six o'clock. To be honest, I think I slept maybe an hour last night. I just, I never could actually fall asleep. I was in that, that doze where you're never actually asleep. But we're up before the sun. Um, I don't know how much you'll be able to see, but... Uh, the fire, I don't know if I... Gotta get that fire going. So, oh my God. let's, uh, let's get up.
man. So guys, it, it wasn't a good night for sleeping. <laughs> for some reason, I, I just, I couldn't get fully asleep. But uh, we didn't have the camera going, but Rooster got over here and got the- Yeah, I wasn't thinking, it's chilly. <laughs> got the fire stoked up, we got the coffee on. I, well, on the plus side, man, we we did want to be up before the sun. Yeah, so. absolutely. Oh, this is a This is a good deal. Chilly, chilly. Let's see. John boy didn't sleep very good. No, I didn't. It's 54 right now. Is it? Oh, how much coffee's left in there? That's not bad. That's enough for a cup and a half, probably a piece. First cup of black gold this morning. Yeah. That's warm, dude. <laughs> that heated up quick. Might be able to maybe not do a full pot. Whoo! Stout. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> I think it's stout, dude. All right, what'd you do with your saw, boss? With what? Your saw. Uh, right there. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, man. You tell it, baby. These last probably 20 or 30 seconds probably seem kind of jumbled up from waking up to a dark campsite to a little bit of fire to pouring some coffee and all that stuff. But sun's up, we have light. We've had our morning coffee. Um, I think we're ready to go get some breakfast. We're gonna go down there and see if we can't catch some food. And we got a lot in store for today. This This full day of no responsibilities so let's go fishing you were good all right man all right we'll back, we'll be back in a bit with that breakfast go get some food get that wind i would love to eat some bluegill and if it all works out and we're able to do the stuff that we want to do y'all gonna love it <laughs> Oh, guys, y'all see that? I don't like that one bit. Look at that guy. <laughs> and I was carrying that. Get off of there. Was that your web I was getting off my hand? Probably was, little booger. Ah. First cast, guys, what do y'all think? Fish on first? Let's see. We have to make the walk back in shame, degradation, and sloth. So I have no idea if I got that fish on camera, but uh, we're not going to starve. We got some food. Get out of here, B. But uh, 
Y'all, y'all familiar with that meme that says it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> that's 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 kind of how I feel. But we do have some lines set out so that uh, we can go back in a little while and hopefully uh, something will get out of here and something will be on those. So anyway, I'm gonna get this gutted, get it on to cook, and we got some crafting to do, and uh, we'll eat in the process. So. Easy. All right, guys. It's time to start making some stuff. That is a tight hat. Is that a train? Sound like it. I didn't think you'd hear. The... Yeah, I didn't know you could hear the train from here. Okay. Anyway, it's time to start making some stuff. Here we go. This is the beginning of my chair. for that. All right. Well, I've done that like 1400 times. You want to see? There she is. Semi completed. And I realize now <clears throat> two things. One, this should have been my backrest because it's smooth. There's not a offset thing. And I should have made the back ends lower to uh, offset my weight, which is a lot. So anyway, this is the first chair I've ever made. So cut me some slack. See how she does. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Ah, oh, I thought I had that long enough for armrest. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take a seat. Come on. It ain't the most comfortable chair, but it's definitely better than that log we were sitting on last night. Yeah, I should have. Uh... Hey, there's a lamp. At least I'm not the only one hit my head. <laughs> I should have lowered those back pieces. A little uneven, uneven now. Oh, that's nice, dude.
Well, the camera overheated, as am I. But, uh, so we didn't get what we're working on now on camera. Now, we're making a table. Oh. We're making a table. We haven't tied down the planks yet, and we gotta add a couple more planks. But, just a nice little stand-up table that we can eat at and stuff like that. Um, it's nothing fancy. Matter of fact, I could probably do some more work to these planks. I think I will do some more work to these planks. But anyway, really. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, didn't turn the camera. Been splitting wood, cutting wood for the better part of an hour or so. It's uh, it's 1.30. Whew. It's 1.30. And uh, this is going to be nice. Made some planks. Now it's cordage time. Yes. Pretty sturdy. So we kind of screwed up. Hold on. Got too much clattering going on here. We kind of screwed up. Earlier this morning, when we got that fish, we came back, we put it on to smoke, and um started working building chairs stuff like that completely forgot about it and now it's jerky yeah which we can still gnaw on it but uh yeah we're not gonna waste it but we are going back down there to get see about getting some more fish here in uh here in a little bit yeah we gotta get something in us man yeah i'm starving <laughs> but uh y'all wish us luck well sorry I thought the camera, we're doing terrible at this camera business during this video, but I thought the camera was recording. We cut up that fish, rooster done, ate his, and this is, I've had like two bites of it. This is all that was that was on that little guy, but it's fine. Whenever we go down there and check our, our set lines we got, there's going to be a couple of five pounders on there. These chopsticks are awesome. They are awesome. Frankie, I'm sorry, man. You know, it is what it is, you know. Winners are winners, you know. <laughs> but really, I hope you guys are doing well out there. I hope y'all are having fun. Man, just enjoying it. I know we are. Yep. We poke fun at each other, but this is all in good fun. Even though we're going to win. <clears throat> That's right. Oh, a little bit of control. Is it still pretty warm? Yeah, oh. it's, it's still pretty good. Let me get some of that. Give me a little energy. Say we give it about 45 minutes to an hour. No, probably longer than that. Wait till later to yeah. go down there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how much we'll get of a bite right now. In the heat of the day. They just weren't biting this morning. I had, I got this one, but that one, I don't know if the camera was on. I don't know if it died or not, but... I had a second one, and if if the video is there, then you'll see it. But um, you can see the pole. He's he's grabbing that pole, and pole's moving and everything. But thing is, with the wacky rig, I'm not very confident with it. But it seems to be working down there. So what I do is I'll cast out, and, you know, do my thing, reel, jerk, jerk, reel, pause, all that good stuff. But whenever whenever a fish takes it. My first reaction is to just set that hook, but that's a terrible idea because I always end up taking the hook out of their mouth because they only have the worm. They haven't gotten to the hook yet. So what I do is I, as you guys probably do, I'm probably not telling y'all nothing you don't know, but 
what I do is I'll, I'll sit there and I'll wait and I'll keep a little bit of tension on the, on the um, line until I feel them try to take it and run with it. And that's when I'll um, set the hook. And if you saw, if you saw me set the hook on this little guy that we're eating right now, it came flying out of the water like a killer whale breaching. It was pretty funny. Yep. Superman. But, all right, guys, we're going to sit down, relax, and just enjoy being out here for now. We'll uh, we'll pick you guys back up whenever we go down to see if we can get some water or if uh, or some fish yeah. or if we can think of something else cool to do. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Finally got hot enough, I had to take the undershirt and the button-up shirt off. It was, got too hot. But um, we just got word that uh, when this challenge is over in the morning, we got a care package coming. And uh, so I'll probably tell you this again, but if you guys want to see what happens when the challenge is over, after this challenge is over, because we're... This video is getting shut off at 9 a.m. If you want to see what happens afterwards, there's going to be another video. Um, it won't be near as long as this one. But, uh, yeah, be sure and check that out because I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that are going to enjoy what we're doing afterwards. And I, here's a little tip. Whenever you use that bank line, that tarred bank line, you should bring soap with you. That stuff don't come off. Anyway. No, it doesn't. It doesn't? It might. <laughs> so we just got down here to the water, guys. Yes, we got we got a bluegill. Hey! I think. Nope. Nope. I didn't know that they got smaller than that in here. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> but hey, I'll take it. It's food. We got us another little bass. I mean, I want you to see this monster. It don't, can't really appreciate that scale. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, gotta get it close. It's massive. Look at that. That's yeah. not a gun. It's five pounds. But pretty. Look at that sucker. You see that? He just had a dang weight coming off his back. <laughs> but uh, John Barber was missing one guy. That was nice. But uh, we're heading back to camp to cook this monster. So we'll get some food in our gut tonight. Be waiting for that care package at 9.01 in the morning. So heading back to camp, see y'all there. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to eat all this. <laughs> Was that Rodney Cranston? Yeah. All right. Guys, we're gonna step over here and get this fire going and get our meal for the night. It may be a small meal, but it's a meal nonetheless. There we go. We also have a special treat. I wouldn't say maybe special treat, but we definitely have something going for tonight. We got a podcast to do, and we figured what better way to do it than from location. But be sure to check out the podcast. It's on all your major platforms, Apple, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Google Cast. If it's a cast, it's there. Um, and please share the podcast. Please rate the podcast and um, you know, that helps us out tremendously. Somebody's shooting over there. Hmm. But yes, please check out the podcast and, uh, we'd really appreciate it. Okay, guys. <clears throat> We're having our, our last meal of the evening here. This, uh, massive fish. 
that we got. <laughs> but uh, hey, it's food. It's something to get in our bellies. So I cannot complain one bit. Um, I think we're gonna eat dinner, sit around the fire for a little bit, and then probably go to bed. Because uh, I believe we've accomplished everything that we have uh, we set out to do out here. So to me, that's a that's a win in my book. I'm, I'm not saying win for the challenge period, but personal win. So, all right, guys, we're gonna eat some dinner, and we'll see you on the morning. Good morning on our final morning. Last night I slept like a rock. That was great. Although, my sleeping bag kind of came out from under me a little bit. So my back is a little bit cold. But, I feel a whole lot better this morning than I did yesterday morning. I actually got some decent, decent sleep. But it looks like Rooster's already got the fire going. And, uh... I don't even know if you can see through the... Yeah, you can. It's got the fire going, coffee on. I'm going to get up and get me some coffee. And, uh... Start my day. So, we're up. I'm dressed. I had to put a hoodie on. A little bit chilly this morning, again. Uh, that coffee should be done. Any minute, it's been on the fire for quite a while now, but it ain't quite boiling yet. So... Boiling on the inside, but it just ain't percolating. See the water going. It is boiling on the inside. On the inside, it just ain't percolating. Hmm. The challenge, this challenge, nope. This challenge ends uh, in what? Like an hour and a half? Like hour and yeah. something like that. Yeah. And I think overall, we, we've, it's a personal win for us because we set out to do things and we accomplished all the things that we set out to do. Table, chairs, cutlery, I say cutlery, utensils. Um, that the fire, we've had the fire pretty much sustained since we got here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's been no having to restart it or anything like that. Just our coals have, it's banked itself overnight um, the last couple of nights. And the craziest thing that I can't believe, we didn't have to have any type of medical intervention. Nope. No cuts, scrapes, <laughs> nothing you like that. Still, right, it ain't over yet. I, you know me, I could fall and hurt myself. But Anyway, guys, we're going to get this coffee going. And here shortly, uh, it gets close to 9 o'clock or right at 9 o'clock, whichever. We're going to start breaking down camp and... Uh, calling it but don't forget that there's going to be a secondary video right after this one it's not going to be there's going to be another video and it's taking place right after this one so be sure to check that out you're, you're going to like that I know I'm going to um, yeah. it's nothing crazy but uh, so anyway I'm going to get off of here and stare at fire but I will definitely say that one of the biggest victories for me mm -hmm. for this was you remember last time when I did the last camp out survival thing, I was unable to get the fire going by traditional means. I had to use lighter fluid and all that stuff yes. because I could not get it going. You guys saw yep. that tender bundle, <laughs> that Bigfoot bushcraft uh, barrel rod. I love that thing. That thing's a beast. I really need to check them out. If you go to uh, bigfootbushcraft.com, um, 
go look at what they got. They have fire starting equipment and stuff like that. If you use our discount code at checkout, Wiley Rooster Boys, at checkout, you'll get 15% off your order. And whenever you use that discount code, that helps us. It supports us with the, with the podcast and, and stuff like that. So you not only are you getting awesome fire starting stuff, but you're helping us out, and we really appreciate that. But for real, I, I didn't mean for that to go into like a spiel about yeah. that at all, but um, we do. We trust that company. We believe in that company. They're, they're American and all that stuff. But um, no, that was really, I was sitting here thinking about it. That was my biggest personal victory for this weekend. I think was getting that fire going fire. like that and those you know unfortunately we only had to use that ferro rod once yep. <laughs> uh, the fire has been maintained the whole time surprising you know even with the humidity in the air yeah, and all last that last night i mean shoot that fire sat there for a good while you know i think yes it was probably we had no smoke for like Six hours, yeah. and just—I mean, it just it kept going. Stir it up. She's good to go. Takes a little coaxing, but she's been doing it. Huh. You know what? Those flames getting a little too hot for that tripod. Whew! Tripod's got to move. <laughs> this tripod's seen better days, man. <laughs> She's starting to come apart. Oh, goodness. Get out of here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. It is over. So, that care package should be here, I don't know, within a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to start our secondary video. But, we really, <laughs> really appreciate you guys watching this. We, we need you, we need you to uh, watch these videos. Watch uh, Frankie's video on one fish at a time. Uh, we'll have the link to that video in the description below. I think due to our hour It may be secondary like I may the video may be posted yeah, and yeah. I may have to go back in and throw the links into the Yeah, that's what I'll have to do. But anyway within a couple of days the links to all of our videos his mine Frankie's They'll be in the descriptions of all of our videos and we need you guys to jump on there watch the videos make your decision Who did better? Who thrived, you know, who, because I'm sure both teams, I'm sure we did a, about the same. Yeah, yeah you know? I would say. Um, so, it's up to you guys. You guys decide who won, and I guess I'm going to sign off of here and get ready to make this next video that you guys are going to need to check out. I know a minute ago we kind of finalized and we were going to get out of here, but I wanted to give a final walkthrough. Everything's empty. Fire's extinguished. Soaked it pretty good. Yeah, the eggshells and everything, that's from, we did a uh, celebratory video after uh, 9 a.m. Because this, this challenge ended at 9 a.m. So we did a little celebratory breakfast type thing, which there's more to it than that. You'll There's a secondary video. You guys, you guys have to check that out. But continue the walk through this is where rooster was between these two trees chairs that we made saved our backs our table the uh, rudimentary walking stick that we didn't actually walk with right here on this limb is where our water bag was hanging kept us water and between these two trees that's where I was so uh, it's kind of sad to kind of sad to see it go to see us go 
because this place has been home for a few days and it's been a lot of fun but we're gonna get out of here please like and subscribe um, share the videos on you know from Texas well ah, terrible camera work from Texas Wells and from Wiley Rooster Boys and Rooster Outdoors and all that stuff and make sure you catch your boat but all right until we see y'all again God bless we'll see you Thank you.